how to fix page with redirect page indexing errors in Google Search Console. In this short video session, we're going to look at user declared canonical, as in page with redirect problems due to user declared canonical. In the previous two video sessions, we've looked at what the error actually means and also the page indexing report, as in URL inspection report. So let's go and see what in the world this user declared canonical means. When we look at example URLs, we can press on inspect URL tool. And then we can use, I'll press here and take you step by step so we kind of see. In the previous video session, I've shown to you what these reports mean, right? So I won't cover them. But here we may see user declared canonical. And often that can be confusing for most website owners thinking, you know what? That redirected URL is not on my website and user declared canonical or Google selected canonical shows up. So then let's continue learning as to fixing page with redirect errors. We can press on test live URL. When we do that, you may see two different results. One is URL is available to Google and page availability can be page can be indexed or you may have problem as to page is not indexed redirect error. So I'm covering many different angles because some ranker followers use different content management systems. Now, when we see page can be indexed and yet it is not in its index, what does that mean? That means your website does not adhere to Google guidelines. That means we can press on the tab, tab and press on certain conditions. And certain conditions then obviously is basically Google search guidelines. We can actually learn more about that through Google help section for SEO starter guide. So I won't cover that. In fact, some page redirect errors or page indexing crawl currently not indexed type of errors are almost always related to website not adhering to Google guidelines. But what if page cannot be indexed, as we can see in this example, because there's a redirect error? Well, when we test the live URL, we can press on Google index to say, hmm, this, as we can see, page is not indexed, page with redirect. That means this URL we're inspecting, Google is not placing it in its index. And we looked at as to why. In this scenario, it was user declared canonical. So that's what we're going to explore a little bit more here now. So what we can do is we can actually go to that URL. What this is saying is you have a URL that Google has found somewhere, whether it's on your website or somewhere else on internet. And somehow Google has determined user declared canonical to be the version that Google is willing to index or treat as the originating web page, so to speak, okay? So that's what canonical URLs are. Should you use canonical URLs? Yes. Particularly important for multilingual websites. What does user declared canonical mean? It basically means your content management system generates link canonical. It's in link rel canonical URL. And that is the URL that Google is willing to index. Now, if we're seeing Google selected canonical, that means despite the content management system generating canonical URL, Google has bypassed that canonical declaration and determined that no, 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 
as far as we're concerned, we will use what we believe is the originating URL. I know page indexing errors can be complex. That's why even though I've created video tutorials trying to cover the entire concepts, I've tried to simplify the, each step of the process for fixing page with redirect errors. This blog post will be published on Rankia website, particularly if you're using WordPress, but surely these insights can be utilized regardless of the content management system that you're using. I thank you for learning with Rankia and I'll talk with you in the next video session.